Okay, if you got the um, Lorex security system or pretty much any security system, um, they give you the cameras, the wires, and the um, the DVR type um, um, recorder like this for the most part. So then you run the wires from the DVR to the cameras and that's how you connect to these wired systems. There are a lot um, more resolution and you don't have to worry about batteries like on a wireless system. So they're pretty cool, but they do have a problem I wanna show you. So on this system, we have a battery symbol on four of the eight cameras I have. And I'm, sh I'm showing you little battery symbols here. And what that means is the power to the camera is insufficient to um, record. Um, it's losing resolution, let's say. Um, you can't really tell on some of them. Um, they're not that bad. But if you have a little battery symbol, it means that there's not enough power going to that camera. And we're going to solve that pretty quickly here. Now, in the Lorex system, it comes with the 12 volt, 2 amp adapter, and each camera, two cameras are put on each adapter. So if you have six cameras, you're going to have three adapters. And what happens is on longer cable, cable runs, let's say the standard cable run you get with your camera system is 60 feet. If, let's say if you add 100 feet or put 260 feet together to get 120 or even 200 feet, the longer the cable run, the more power it's going to require for that camera. So from the NVR to the camera, sometimes you could get a fuzzy image or image drops out or you get that, um, you get that little camera um, battery sy symbol on the um, images at night, uh, especially at night because the infrared takes a lot more power than during the day. Um, so to fix this problem, what you do is you basically go to a third party and buy a bigger power adapter. So you got a 12 volt, two amp that comes with the system. You could go to Amazon or somebody and buy a 12 volt, five amp, a 12 volt, eight amp, a 12 volt, 10 amp adapter. Um, the bigger, the better. But um, let's say you get the five amp, you could easily put two cameras on a five amp. And um, so if you have six cameras, you might want to buy three of those adapters and they run around $10 on Amazon. The only reason why I'm saying Amazon is because when I first bought my power adapters off Amazon, I received some that didn't work properly. They could barely run one camera, even though there are five amps. And that's because of a manufacturing problem with these adapters that seems to be common. So that's why I say, if you're gonna buy these, get it from a, a store or a retailer that you can return them because it seems that a lot of these um, adapters are made by basically the same company and they're not made very well. So um, a five amp should be able to run easily two cameras, even three cameras. Um, I have five amps on two cameras each. So I have basically three adapters on six cameras. Um, on my other two cameras, I'm using the standard adapter because they're in the light all the time and they don't require a bigger adapter. So here you can see, after I put the bigger adapter on, I lost all the little battery symbols on the um, four cameras I have, was having trouble with. So if you have a problem with your camera system, it might be because the power from the adapter is not enough. Um, one of my viewers actually suggested that for longer runs, he uses a bigger adapter, and that's why I wanted to do this video, because people don't know that right off. And the image is coming a little clearer um, with the bigger adapter. Um, the only image that's not coming in very clear is the one on the upper right because there isn't that much, um, it's pretty dark over there um, when there's no movement. When there's movement, the lights come on and you could see, but um, it's it helped a little bit there, but not much. So if you have problems, just you could purchase these adapters for like $10 and give it a shot.